Welcome to this beginner's guide to APG interpretation. In this video, we're going to look at the basic physiology of respiratory acidosis and alkalosis and how we can diagnose these conditions on an arterial blood gas. When we talk about respiratory acidosis or alkalosis, we are really looking at how effectively the lungs are removing carbon dioxide from the body. CO2 is a byproduct of the way energy is produced within cells. Oxygen, inhaled through the lungs, passes into the cells via the bloodstream. Once inside the cell, it is used to help break down glucose in the process we know as aerobic respiration. The result is the creation of ATP, a compound which can be used to power metabolic processes. However, as a byproduct, we also get carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide if not effectively removed from the body has the potential to be very harmful. When CO2 combines with water the chemical carbonic acid is produced. If too much carbonic acid is allowed to accumulate it will begin to affect the pH of the blood. The more CO2 present in the blood the more carbonic acid that will be produced. CO2 is removed from the body by the lungs on expiration. The more effort put into expiration, the more rapidly CO2 will be excreted. We can now begin to understand the relationship between the respiratory system, carbon dioxide and blood pH. The normal range for CO2 in an ABG is between 4.5 to 6 kilopascals. In most circumstances, the body will attempt to keep blood CO2 levels within this range by either increasing the effort put into expiration when CO2 levels rise too high or reducing the effort put into expiration if levels become too low. For the purposes of this video, we will think of an acid as a molecule that will attempt to give away hydrogen ions to another molecule. Having more acid in our blood essentially means there are more hydrogen ions available to be donated. We measure the concentration of hydrogen ions in a solution using the pH scale. pH runs from 1 to 14 and is, a little confusingly, a negative scale. By this we mean that the higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, the lower down on the scale we will go. A pH of 7 is considered neutral. A solution with a pH of less than 7 is considered to be acidic, with the concentration of hydrogen ions and therefore the acidity increasing as you move further down the scale. A solution with a pH of greater than 7 is considered to be alkalotic, with the concentration of hydrogen ions decreasing as you move up the scale. The enzymes within our body work best within a very narrow range on the pH scale. A blood pH of 7.35 to 7.45 is considered optimal on an ABG. Anything less than 7.35 on an ABG is thought of as an acidotic reading. Anything greater than 7.45, an alkalotic reading. A respiratory acidosis occurs when CO2 builds up in the lungs at a faster rate than our lungs are removing it. For example, when respiratory effort is suppressed after a head injury. As carbon dioxide begins to accumulate within the bloodstream, the concentration of hydrogen ions in the blood will begin to increase and the pH of our blood will begin to be pushed downwards. CO2 greater than 6 kilopascals has the potential to push the pH of the blood below its optimum range. At this point, we would describe the ABG as representing a respiratory acidosis. If the CO2 continues to rise, then we will begin to see the symptoms associated with an acidosis. These could include relatively mild symptoms, such as headaches, restlessness and anxiety, moving on to more serious complications such as blurred vision, drowsiness and muscle spasms. A severe acidosis can be fatal. A pH of less than 6.8 is not considered compatible with life. The body can also experience problems if the respiratory system is too efficient. Hyperventilation may result in CO2 being cleared too efficiently. The body is designed to operate in the presence of some CO2 and respiratory alkalosis will occur 
if CO2 levels fall below the optimum range. As CO2 levels reduce below 4.5 kilopascals, the concentration of hydrogen ions will also reduce. pH may increase into the alkalotic range. Symptoms of respiratory alkalosis can include dizziness, lightheadedness and bloating, moving on to more serious complications such as confusion and heart palpitations. A pH of greater than 7.8 is not considered compatible with life, although this is extremely unlikely from purely respiratory mechanisms. Of course, we must not forget that the respiratory system is not the only thing affecting the pH in your ABG. Metabolic factors also contribute significantly. We will look at metabolic acidosis and alkalosis in a future video. In the next video, we'll look in more detail at how the body regulates CO2 and room through some scenarios that may lead the patient to suffer a respiratory acidosis or alkalosis. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe.